Esther Barbet. Just jumping around now, Mohammed. You were saying that uh, some of the some of the birds have bright blue coloration. How does that help them camouflage? Well, Mohammed. Also, if you have a look at this beautiful uh, crested barbet, black and white and yellow, bright colours. So the birds actually don't necessarily need camouflage. Oh, they, they, you can see those colours. Look at that. There's red in there too. Still jumping around. Oh, there he is. So Mohammed, these uh, the birds with birds, it's slightly different. They don't necessarily need the camouflage, um, unless they are ground nesting birds. Then the the ground nesting birds, for example, some of the Franklins and that they um, uh, or the or the Corans especially, very well camouflaged, and that's because they they live and nest on the ground. Um, whereas a lot of the other birds, and the, especially those ones with bright blue colours and that, the color is basically to attract the mates mainly so the males are generally more colorful than females in the birds with bird species um, but they don't necessarily need camouflage for protection because they can obviously fly around and that but the main reason for the color is of course the is to attract a mate so the more colorful the more attractive and the more beautiful you look and more chance of um, of attracting a female Some lovely birds there. That's crested barbets feeding on some seeds there. There's also a beautiful grey go away bird right in front of us, just on the dead tree stump. There we go. Look at that in the light. Paddy, you asked what these seed pods were that the barbet was eating. Let me have a look, Paddy. Um, what tree is this now that it was feeding on? Oh, well, there are a few birds here. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's uh, the uh, the monkey pod senna. Uh, Taylor had a look too. Yeah, it looks like can't really see the because um, usually they get these beautiful yellow flowers. So I think that's that's what it is. The senna. I think it's senna petisiana, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, scientific name, Senna petisiana, monkey pods. Oh, yeah, I can see the pods there now clearly. Those little po um. uh, James is sticking to the grey theme. You wanted to see the grey go away bird. Well, look at them. They're all enjoying these pods here. They're very close to us. Nice to see them. Look at that. That's great. So, yes, the grey theme sticking with us. <laughs> Beautiful view of these grey go-away birds. They seem very relaxed. I was trying to get to those pods, but I can't reach. Heidi, yes, a lot of these grey go-away go birds do eat seeds. And they also like fruit. Uh, so fruit from some of the trees when they, when they are fruiting. They'll feed on that. Um, but yeah, a lot of seed pods and seeds that they feed on. <laughs> Maybe they just run around these trees. Strange birds, grey go away birds. <laughs> this bottom one tried to reach a pod and actually fell out the out of the tree and uh, couldn't reach. <laughs> Must be quite frus frustrating, actually. Yeah, and uh, Mohammed, he was saying, look at the tail feathers. They've got long tail fe feathers, the go-away birds, the grey go-away birds. 